Bend it, sleep, clap. What's going on guys? Waco here with the Watchdog Bandit. Um, how you doing, man? Yeah, you good? And we're here, we're here to talk about a really cool watch, the new Frank Mueller Grand Central Tourbillon. What do you think of that, Bandit? Mesmerizing to behold, huh? Right? And it's called the Grand Central Tourbillon because here you've got the tourbillon sitting in the center of the dial. So it's gravitated from its traditional position in six o'clock to be smack in the center. And what a huge tourbillon it is. And it is stunning to behold. And what is really cool about this is it is um, a series of circles. So if you look deep inside of the watch, the first circle you're gonna see is the fixed seconds wheel. And then you can see the escapement rotating around that, drawing power from that as it's being compelled around by the cage. Then you're gonna see the balance wheel, which is blazing away at 2.5 hertz. Okay, that's 18,000 vibrations per hour. That's not really super fast, but when you have it that close to the sapphire, it's absolutely bewitching, right? Then on top of that, you have a bridge that is, you're like, hey, isn't that the bridge that's fixing the tourbillon to the dial? But it is, but it's not. So actually it is a bridge that is retaining the balance wheel and is actually part of the tourbillon cage. And that bridge is actually acting as a seconds hand. So what you effectively have here is probably one of the world's biggest flying tourbillons. I mean, look at that, that's breathtaking. And this sort of absolute masterpiece of visual pyrotechnic techniques on the dial is stunning to behold. The other thing to look at also is that the cage of the tourbillon is elevated from on top of the dial so that it's almost in contact with the sapphire. And when you look at it, you almost feel like you could reach out and touch the, that cage. So is it's, uh, it's three dimensionality. The integration of the hour and minute hands has also been beautifully done and it's been done to be integrated into the perimeter of the tourbillon cage. So it almost seems as if it flows into one piece and they're super subtle and they're read off of this really beautiful guilloche dial. Uh, it is a clou de Paris that's been done in a really beautiful spiral motif that accentuates the rotation of the tourbillon. The other thing that's really innovative here is that they've completely reworked the classic Frank Mueller tonneau case. So now you have an internal bezel, and then you've got a piece of sapphire that curves in two different um, directions, that way and that way as well. And the, what's amazing is the sapphire reaches all the way to the lugs. So actually the bezel of the watch, which is separate from the case, um, is actually sitting underneath the sapphire. And that bezel um, can be done in different types of materials to complement the material of the case. So for example, here we have a rose gold case and then we've got a high polished stainless steel bezel. So here we have a rose gold case and we've got a, a blacked out stainless steel bezel. And then the piece that I have on my wrist is the sporty version. It's made of titanium and it also has a titanium bezel. Absolutely stunning. It's also got this incredible like silver, you know, guilloche spiral motif and these black numerals which are hand applied. The other thing that's really cool is because of the words Frank Mueller are actually uh, engraved onto the tourbillon cage, you can see them rotating around the dial, so they actually add as a, act as a seconds indicator as well. In the back of the watch, you're going to see that from a vertical orientation, you're going to see two things. You're going to see the massive barrel on the top of the watch, and on the bottom of the watch, you're going to see the micro rotor. Uh, automatic watch uh, for tourbillon, it's quite rare, and it has a full four days of power reserve. Finishing is beautiful. Uh, the watch is absolutely dazzling to behold. So in conclusion, yes, so Bandit, if you, what, you know, this watch is water resistant to 30 meters. It, it's got a rubberized alligator strap, which means um, daddy can wear it when he's sitting in the jacuzzi. What, what, what? Hey, hanging out. That's it guys, thank you very much. Bye.